Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're on page eight of Cottage Life. We're wrapping things up. So let me think here for a second. Um, I've got my paper lined up, but I have to think a little bit about which side it goes this way. Okay, I did lay it out correct. So we've got two flaps. Our first flap is three and a half by seven, three and a half by seven. I'm just gonna go on the right hand side which is also the spine side. And then we have another one, which is six and a half by seven, six and a half by seven. Just wanna make sure. Okay. All right, so the papers I have planned are right here. So this is gonna be the top, and I'm gonna add this first, and then um, add my flap extender, and then we can put our magnet on, which is not exactly the same order I did it on page one, but we'll get the same result. Need ink, sorry. I took a break for lunch and had to, forgot where I left off. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I've been complaining for days about how bad I felt. I feel so good today, I'm so happy. Whatever it is, is past. I'm at Cinco de Mayo here. So I went out and had a taco with my husband. And that's always fun. It wasn't very crowded because it was lunchtime. I'm sure it's going to be very busy tonight, which is why, why we go out during the day. Because <laughs> we're old. And we don't like all that noise. Okay, so that's in. This is going to be what we lay down here. But the next thing I want to do is decorate my extension. So this is going to be what's on the cover, and I've already glued it down. So it's going to go right here. This will be the back side. So I've already got a magnet here. It's gonna go like this. And then the last thing we'll do is place another magnet here before we glue it down. Okay, so we can go ahead and put this together and then place it on this little flap or narrow flap. I think I drank a little too much caffeine at lunch. I feel a little zippy. <clears throat> There we go. Okay, so this is gonna be glued down just like so. I think these two papers go together so nicely. Just lining it up, straightening it up. I think I need a little more glue here. There we go. Okay, uh, eight by eight. Patterns of solids, patterns of solids. And I believe this is from the um, 12 by 12. And I just know that from the scale. But it doesn't really matter. Um, you could use the eight by eight or the 12 by 12, either one will work. I just think this scale goes better this way. And again, the one in my hand is from the eight by eight. Oh, I forgot to tell you the measurement of the flap extender. Um, it is 
four and three quarter by five and a quarter, four and three quarter by five and a quarter. I put it down, I'll verify that as soon as I get this glued down. I believe I did it horizontally, but it doesn't really matter. It just needs to reach over ah, far enough to put a magnet down, which I didn't do. <laughs> that was the whole purpose. So, oh, come on, there we go. That's what I was waiting on, dum-dum. So we'll do that again. So horizontal, vertical, whatever looks better to you. Um, it just needs to reach over far enough to um, have a magnet engaged on the opposite flap to keep things closed. There we go, now I'm gonna add a little more glue and start that process over. That's the other reason I talk through things, because I forget. I should have drawn a circle here. Sometimes I'll put an X or a circle to remind myself to add a magnet. do the inside. So this is real simple. I'm just doing all solids and then I've got, I'm missing a blue strip. Here it is, I think. I think this goes here. Yes, it does. Okay, so we're just alternating the pattern. If you use uh, powder puffs and you ink from the center to the corners, you'll extend the life of your pad because it won't catch on the corners and dig into the sponge. So that's why I do it that way. Uh, that comes from figuring it out over time. Um, because the sponge is pretty soft, it's easy to dig into it and then to have pieces fall off. Oh, by the way, if you're watching this in or around May um, 5th, 2022, we're shipping art glitter glue right now, you guys. So if you've been waiting for the temperatures to settle down so that you could get your supply of art glitter, come and get it. We've got it. Shipping now. There'll be a little uh, reminder via email as well for anybody who subscribed to our website. Beautiful. And then I'm gonna add a little, just a little embellishment right here. It's just a postage stamp. It's a uh, fussy cut from the 12 by 12 cover page. It's going to add a little texture to it. If you recall on page one, I added a piece of chipboard. Let's see a little more. There we go. Doesn't that look nice? I think that's where I'm going to put it. Well, I don't know, I kind of like it there too. Now I'm gonna keep this flat, and the reason I'm keeping it flat is because on the front and back covers, I've got pockets, so there's a flap there, so I don't want any, um, I don't want this to be raised and potentially uh, conflict with the pocket flap on the inside liner. So this is going to be very flat for that reason. I think it would look better popped, but I think it'll, um, 
snag on uh, the inside liner. So there we go. Oops, that's, that's strong. <laughs> okay, that's it for now. Okay, I'm gonna add a couple of embellishments to some of the other pages. Let me show you what I've, show you what I've done with the insert. So I've started um, decorating the inserts and it looks like I'm gonna have enough paper to do more here. Each one of these bands is one and a half inches wide. So that's the beginning. And then I'm gonna uh, look to add some more there. And then also um, I added some inserts to the front and back pockets that are actually on the inside of the covers. So I'll go over that in the walkthrough in detail and it'll also be in the cut list. And the cut list as usual is in the description. So click on the show more. First thing you're gonna see is a materialist followed by the cut list. Be back soon.